about? Remember? Um, yeah. Um, the title of reading last week is The Beautiful Games. The Beautiful Games. Okay, yeah. where can I find it now? Where's, do I have here or not? Oh. Is it on the third one? Let wait a moment, please. Okay, here. So we watch this one again. Are you have you practiced reading at home? No. Oh my gosh, that that that's something that you must do, you know, because just like Cambodian language, the more you speak, not the more you speak, because you have you know born and you you heard you hear and you you speak, you communicate all in Khmer language. That's why you speak Khmer very well. No problem with it at all. Uh, English, if you want to speak English like a foreign language, uh, I mean, no need to, to be, no need to speak, to sound like them, but at least to be able to speak in whatever situations you are in, that you need to listen to English uh, language a lot, that you need to speak, that you need to practice reading, you know? Okay, so I play this one again for you because some exercises have not yet completed. Though I asked you to to do it uh, at home, but I don't know whether you did it or not. <laughs> but let's watch again, right? Together. Over the last hundred years, the game of football has totally changed the worlds of sport, media, and leisure. Football is played worldwide by more than 1.5 million teams and 300,000 clubs. An amazing 8 out of 10 people in the world watch the World Cup. It is, as the great Brazilian footballer Pelé described it, the beautiful game. Oh, can you see the screen, everyone? Yeah, the chat. Yes, the chat. Oh, sorry, sorry, I saw you didn't see. Okay, now let's continue. How football began. As far back as 2500 BC, the Chinese played a kicking game called Tzu Chu. Similar games were played by the Romans and North American Indians. In England, in medieval times, mob football was wildly popular. In 1583, Philip Stubbs said of football players, Sometimes their necks are broken, sometimes their backs, sometimes their legs, sometimes their arms. By the mid-19th century, with the help of English public schools, the game had become less violent. Each school had different rules for playing the game. On the playing fields of Eton, the ball was kicked high and long. At rugby school, the boys caught and ran with the ball. Problems arose when boys from the different schools went to the universities of Oxford and Cambridge and wanted to continue playing. This is from the description of a match played in Cambridge in 1848. The result was chaos, as every man played the rules he had been accustomed to at his school. It became common to play half a match by one side's rules, the second half by the others. That's how half-time came about. However, this was not good enough for the university men. They decided to sort out the rules once and for all. On Monday, October the 26th, 1863, they met at a pub in London. By the end of the day, they had formed the Football Association, and a book of laws was on its way. The sticking point was whether a player could pick up the ball and run with it or not, and this was not decided until December the 8th. From this decision, the games of both football and rugby were born. Football around the world. Europe. Europe is home to the world's richest professional clubs. Manchester United, AC Milan, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. These clubs are famous in many countries far away from their home grounds. 
rickshaw pullers in Mumbai, tuk-tuk drivers in Bangkok, on discovering they have an English passenger, respond with, Ah, English, Manchester United. You know Manchester United? South America. South America has produced some of the most exciting soccer on earth. Many of the world's leading players have come from poverty to play on the world stage. They have been snapped up by wealthy European teams after making their mark at home. Brazil has won the World Cup five times, Uruguay three times and Argentina twice. North America North America is the only continent where football, or soccer as it is called there to distinguish it from their homegrown game, has become more popular with females than males. In 1991, the US won the first Women's World Cup. Interest among American men has been growing since the World Cup in Los Angeles in 1994, and more recently, since the arrival of international stars, such as David Beckham. Asia Over the past two decades, heated rivalry among Japan, China and South Korea has increased the passion for soccer across the continent, especially after Japan and Korea co-hosted the World Cup in 2002. However, not all Asian countries share the passion. India and Pakistan prefer cricket. The Middle East Countries such as Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Qatar have lately been investing huge sums of money in football. They've hired the best players and coaches that money can buy. Australia Sport in Australia has long been dominated by cricket, rugby and surfing. However, since they qualified for the 2006 World Cup, Australians have become much more interested in the game. Africa Africa has produced a number of soccer superstars, but many of them have been lost to the rich European clubs. Africa is poor in resources, but rich in talent, with thousands of gifted young players dreaming of big-time football. South Africa's hosting of the 2010 World Cup is very important for African football. A global passion. The game of football is played in every nation on earth, not only by the 120 million regular team players, but also by countless others on beaches, in playgrounds and streets. The world's love of football is simple. It's because football is simple. All that is needed is a ball, a piece of ground and two posts. And two posts. The world's greatest players, George Best, Diego Maradona and Pele, all learned their skills on waste grounds. These are the places where the sport is born and why football has become a global passion. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, this is what we learned last week, uh, but we haven't finished some questions yet. And exercise four here, we, da we have uh, five questions, but in number one, there are more exercise for you to do, complete the blank spaces here. We also did uh, last week, correct, everyone? So remember? Yes, yes it's okay. The first one, what is it? Uh, so, Wanri, you say yes, so what is it, number one? Can you Australia, read? teacher. Okay, can you read the whole sentence? Um, Australia has become more uh, interested be about football since the uh, 2006 World Cup. Okay, uh, you know, I, I, if you don't practice reading at home, so when you read, we know that you didn't practice. You get it? And sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, be, be because uh, English is not like uh, mathematics, like one plus one equal two. 
language requires your practice. The more you practice, the more you get fluent at it. Australia has become more enthusiastic about football since the 2006 World Cup. You need to learn to be fluent, you know, so that you can make a lot of progress with English. Now, if you don't learn to be fluent, you wait until Saturday and Sunday. OK, we have a lot of things to do, right? On the weekday, you have your jobs and you may do other degree in other university, but you need to have some time for it. Otherwise, you know, your progress is not much progressive. OK, uh, uh, letter B, Chilika, still remember the answer? Letter B, Europe. OK, read the whole sentence, please. Yes, uh, Europe has the wealth, wealth, Okay, study already. <laughs> oh my gosh, Europe my student did not practice reading. Football club. In the world. <laughs> yeah, okay everyone. I think most students are very good at listening. You can listen very well, but you know, reading, reading is not a difficult skill. But some words you need to practice, you know, you need to learn. And uh, we have the video for you after the lecture. We upload on YouTube. Or you can check the word right away on Google and find out, right? It's pronunciation is very important for speaking skill, you know. If you, don't re if you can read them, if you can pronounce them well, <laughs> people don't understand. All right. Europe has the wealthiest football clubs in the world. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Come down. Let us see. Let us see. Not all countries in Asia have a passion of football. Okay, have a passion for football. Um, Not all countries in Asia have a passion for football. All right, thank you very much. Uh, then I will ask uh, uh, Tuan. How to end, right? No, not available. Okay, I will read for you. Oh, you raise your hand. Why? What happened? Busy? <laughs> not turn on microphone, but raise your hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, South America and Africa often lose their most talented players to reach European clubs. And the last one, in North America, footballer has become more popular with girls than boys. How about Cambodia? <laughs> Okay, this one we already discussed and learned from last week at the end of uh, the class. And now we have to continue with uh, question number two, number three, four, and five. And I hope you already did it at home. All right, guys? Yeah, look at number two together. Which continents are most or least enthusiastic about football? Did you do it at home, everyone? Teacher, I do, but I don't know right or wrong. I just want to try. Teacher, can I? You must be confident with yourself, okay? No need to say no right or wrong. Okay, let's try. Um, can I read the question first? Which countries are most or least... Um, what, teacher? Oh, cannot read. <laughs> Did it already? <laughs> cannot read this word. Forget. <laughs> oh, forget. Enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. Enthusiastic. Um, about football, Australia is the country are most uh, least it was uh, ex so oh. yes, about football. Okay, you know, when 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 uh, nowadays I learn uh, how to read alphabet in, in English, for example, uh, in Chinese, for example, they have like this they say, Bo, and this one. <sighs> similar to English, post something like that. And they asked me to read 10 times. If I make mistake, they asked me to read 20 to read 20 times. OK, so you should do so with this thing. <laughs> OK, uh, you see, uh, uh, so one day, I think you make small mistake here. The word most is opposite the word least. OK, um, they are opposite. Yeah. You cannot say the country that are most least enthusiastic about football is Australia, uh, the, the continents. Cannot. You cannot say, oh, the big 
and small man in the class is Mr. Tolton. Cannot. <laughs> because they are opposite. It cannot be one thing has two opposite characteristics. Cannot. All right? Okay. All right. So the answer, Europe, South America, and Africa are most enthusiastic. Asia and Australia are the least right? enthusiastic. Okay, but Australia here has become more enthusiastic since 2006 World Cup. Before that, they were less enthusiastic in football, right? Okay, they would like to play other games such as cricket and other. Okay, uh, number number three, who volunteer to do number three? Yeah, Tolton, you raise your hand. If you want to answer, you can. How about other students? Anyone volunteer? Volunteer, get hundred dollars. <laughs> no kidding. Okay. Why is football called soccer in North America? Hello. Oh, now I now I know. Okay, my students are not so hardworking. They did not review the lessons. They did not do the exercise. Okay, so <laughs> why so quiet? Can you hear me? No. Yes or no? I have to check my. Oh, you must have heard me. Yeah, teacher, I hear you. Okay, only the one day. How about the student? Maybe they don't hear. Me. Okay, so number two, uh, this one we don't need to spend more time because uh, it was the last exercise we did not finish last week. And uh, let's see, number three, it is called soccer to distinguish it from the American own game, American football, which is called football. So in America, they have one football, right? So they, they, the football and soccer in America are different, not, 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 not the same. One use the fit to kick right leg with the leg the other one you have to run and carry the balls right yeah so the the distinguish mean to differentiate different oh cannot write different yet right to make it different differentiate or to distinguish okay number four why do some continents often lose players to european clubs anyone want to try with this one Swanery, you did it already, right? Yeah, teacher, but... Um... Okay, try again, then only you, if only you did it, then only you, the one who answered the questions. Okay, number four. Teacher, I did, but number four, I keep, <laughs> I don't okay. know. Okay, I, I did, but I didn't do, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the European clubs have a lot of money to buy the best player, like Real Madrid, Manchester United, Bayern Munich. What else? What are the okay, Juventus? Okay, and even now they have one groups in the in France called uh, PSG or what PGS? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I now I don't follow the uh, the news. So so there are a lot of rich rich clubs in Europe. And they want their clubs to be more and more popular, earn more money. So they have to spend money as well. They call investment. They have to buy the talented players from various countries to come and play with them. Now I think uh, uh, one players now he's, he's Asian. He's from uh, South Korea. His name is I don't know. Now he's playing for Spur, Spurtingham, something like that. And uh, Real Madrid is going to buy him. So you see now Asian people also become popular. Okay, number five. How and where has the World Cup increased interest in football? How about this one? Hello. Hello, everyone. Right, why today my students are very quiet. Is it clear from me or not, everyone? My internet is not good or what? Please let me know. Hello. 
cầu thương xây nơi xây lá tôi tất chả ly xây yon xây con thi xây con thi chả chọn lịp sinh nào you cannot hear me should i move to the other place is my internet is okay everyone please let me know your internet is really okay teacher but <laughs> i'm kid i'm kid but okay but uh you are so but uh teacher but we don't want to speak with you no <laughs> i don't know how other student okay okay all right so the last one this is very long answer north america in 1991 the u.s won the first women world cup and the world and the world cup was in los angeles in 1994 asia japan and and korea co-hosted the world cups in 2012 Australia, they qualify for the 2006 World Cups. Africa have the 2010 World Cups. Uh, in North, in South Africa, is very important for the American football. Uh, that, that's why we talk about how and where World Cup has increased the interest in in people in football in the games around the world. So that these are the reasons. So before the World Cups in uh, 2002. Before that, Japan and Korea were not much interested in football. And even Australia, before the what we call, before they were qualified to join the World Cup in 2006, they were not interested in football as much as the other games. Right now, football, right, is worldwide. P people, even in Cambodia, also like to play football. But uh, footballers in Cambodia are not as rich as the people, footballers in other, other countries. Okay, so before we ending this, I would like to ask some students to read, okay? Uh, I will read the questions for you and sing. I want you to read the answer. Sing, are you available to read? Yes, teacher. Oh. Okay, okay. So I will read the question for you, right? Number two, which continents are most or least enthusiastic about football? Europe. South America and Africa are most enthusiastic. Asia and Australia are the least enthusiastic. Okay, number three. Why is football called soccer in North America? It is called soccer to distinguish it from the Americans' own game, American football, which is called football. Number four. Why do some continents often lose players to European clubs? The European clubs have a lot of money to buy the best players. Okay. Number five, how and where has the World Cup increased interest in football? North America. In, 19, in 1991, the U.S. won the first Women's World Cup, and the World Cup was in Los Angeles in 1994. Asia, Japan, and Korea co-hosted the World Cup in 2002. Australia, they qualified for the... 2006 World Cup, Africa having the 2010 World Cup in South Africa is very important for African football. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Any question from this exercise, everyone? Hello? Why, why what happened now? You are tired, everyone? Seem like no one, no, no, not active this week. What happened? No, I have to hear your name. <laughs> okay, so you may not have question. We continue to the next one. Okay, so the next one, what do you think? This is a general knowledge. We want to know your opinions, okay? So you don't need to care whether your opinion is right or wrong, uh, good or bad. Just give it, right? We discuss as a class and we learn from each other. So there are four. Um, question, kind of question for you. The first one, football has totally changed the world of sport, media, and laser. laser. What does this mean? Number two, does football unite or divide the world? How? Number three, why are some clubs so famous worldwide? Which players are superstar today? Number two, or number four, 
Do you agree with the conclusion about why football has become a global passion? Okay, so for this one, we may not, uh, I may not give you time to discuss on this one because it may take a lot of time, I mean, to spend and read. Now I want to hear from you guys. You, you do it without uh, taking some time for the consideration, just give us the answer on the spot. So I want to hear from Kim Jan. Kim Jan, I want to hear from you the first one. What do you think? Whether football has totally changed the world of sport, media, and leisure, leisure what does this mean? Mm, I think that this first is showing about the football uh, have more popular in the world. Every country has uh, every country play that game, and it's also uh, the popular game uh, in the sport. Yeah. I change the world of sport, change the world of media and less. So people now in in they have the school, you know, of football. So kid, they send the kid to to school and play football uh, when they are at young age, and then they have uh, under uh, we call uh, under twelve years old club uh, under eighteen. So under eighteen yeah. means if you are under eighteen, you have to go and play with under play eighteen, right? Uh, football club they have. Yes, also yeah. have in every high school also have football club. Right. Okay. Yes. Now, even in Cambodia, right, we have uh, football clubs everywhere. Even we we do not play it for money. We also play it for fun, for exercise, for our uh, bodily and mental health. You know. Okay. So football is chosen to be one of the most popular and play worldwide, and it also affect a lot on media. On media, you see, you watch even on, on, on YouTube. Have you ever seen footballs on YouTube, on Facebook page or Facebook live, something like that? They, they like the, the, the videos of the football match from other countries, like the World Cups, the Premier Leagues, something like yes. that. Have you ever seen? Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. So media also pay a tremendous focus on football. There is no doubt because media just want to report something that is happening right now, right? So football is one of them. So every country play footballs. Even touring COVID-19 here, they do not play online, you know, they go and play together. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't allow people to join, yeah? To to go, I mean, to, 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 to go and watch uh, at the stadiums. But players wow. still travel there and back and forth and go and play in another clubs. I said they don't stop. Okay, and also in Cambodia, more normally we play football for the laser activities, right? For the fun activities, especially for the boys. How about girls? I don't see many girls play football in Cambodia, right? Correct. Oh, yeah. We have, but but not as many as the boy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If 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 you have a small kids at at homes. Uh, I mean, if he's a, a, a boy, you, you, you buy a ball for, for him, maybe nowadays. But for a girl, you may buy some uh, teddy bear or something, right? Uh, but I was <laughs> young, yeah, I also play ball. Okay, okay. That's, that's it. You see, that, that's why you say football changed the world of sport yeah. and your uh, activities, your free time activities. Okay, number two, does football unite or divide the world? How? So this question would be going to... Um, regional. Oh, regional. Hello, teacher. Yeah, hello. Number two, what do you think? Teacher, I'm just joined. Oh, you just joined. Oh, that yeah. is just and two. Okay, Payada. Yes, teacher. Hey, what do you think of the question number two? Does football unite or divide the world? How? Uh, I think that the football unite the world because as we know that uh, the football game has uh, spread over the world. It means that many, uh, many countries in the world know and play the football. That's what I think. Yeah. Many people around the world play play footballs and if they are good, if they are talented, the rich clubs from other countries gonna buy them to play there, right? 
Yes. So once they buy them to play this, they become friends. They 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 don't hate each other. They play together, and the, the two countries become close. You get it, and uh, you see even uh, like we and Japan's. Uh, you know, Mr. Hongda, he's a football player. He came to Cambodia and he became a coach. He trained Cambodia people to play football. Okay. And his yeah, son, sure. yeah, and 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 his son, some Cambodian to play in Japan and uh, a thing like that. So this this help us to be more close to each other rather than divided. So we 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 read the word unite, not unite. Okay, be careful. So help us to unite, you know, with with each other rather than divide divisions. That is important, right? Especially for America, for the European countries, they have a lot of uh, problems, especially on business called trade, trade, right? They have trade problems, they have business problems, they have rice problem, black, Hispanic, right? American, white, brown, <laughs> Asians, even now COVID-19, you know, cause a lot of racism. Racism here, yeah? racism. So uh, some people, they, when they see Asian people along the road, they hit. They say, because of you, that's why now COVID-19 uh, affected thousands of people and killed a lot of people. So I'm going to hit you. So racism, so more and more. But when we talk about football, we don't care about those things. You get it? That's why footballs unites right, the world rather than divide it. Okay. Okay, number, the next one. Why are some clubs so famous worldwide? Which players are superstar today? I think this one, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Suwanti. Suwanti? Hello, Suwanti. Okay. Okay, v ball. Yes, teacher. Okay. Question uh, yeah. Why are some clubs uh, so famous worldwide? I think it because because a uh, club is have many many stop, uh, super superstar. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 some question uh ha which player are superstar today? I think uh, Messi is my superstar. Oh, uh, is your superstar? But is he, he is he a superstar for the world or not? Or just only you? You say my superstar. The, the question: which, which which players are superstar today? So this one not personally for you alone. I mean. For everyone in general, the question. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So, I, okay, let me ask you another question, with Ball. Uh, which clubs does Messi is playing for? Oh, sorry, is Messi is playing for? Do you know? Yes. Sir. Which which club is Messi is playing for nowadays? Uh, he is play in Barcelona. Yes, Barcelona. Thank you. Okay, so Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus, the Germanics, and a lot of uh, like PSG and other groups, they became very uh, popular. They become very famous worldwide because they has a lot of superstar there, and the they are very professional in football. They can play football very well. Okay, the the uh, the players which are superstar today, we know Cristiano Ronaldo. Neymar, we also, what is it, Messi, okay, Roni, who else? There's a lot more, correct? But I, I don't remember them because we, we don't follow them much. Okay, now the last one, do you agree with the conclusion about football has become a global passion? Okay, this one I don't need to ask you guys. We, as we discuss from question number one, two, and three, we all must agree that uh, football become a global passion, even in Cambodia. <laughs> in the in the evenings, uh, if you travel, uh, I mean, around the city in Batumbong here, you may see a lot of people play football. So there's a lot of football courts. Even our university, we want to build up a football clubs and make two or three football courts behind the, the, the building so that the student can play there. All right. 
yeah, we give a lot of values on footballs and it become a global passion. People want to play it for fun, right? For exercise in their free time activity. Okay, now let's go to the next one and um, let's go to this vocabulary and listening. Thing I'm passionate about. So we already learned the word passionate. Hopefully you still remember them and be able to read them very well. Okay, number one, which work with a partner, look at the words and expressions in the box, which are positive, which are negative, all right? Which are neutral. So we have positive, negative, and neutral. And we have uh, how many of them? We have tons, right? We have quite like, adore, love, keen on, not that keen on, crazy above, can't stand, don't mind, can't bear, fun of. Okay, for this one, um, uh, Yum Hung, right? Yum Hung, can you read again, please? I read only the word in the box. Uh, quick light, adore, lot, keen on, not that keen on, crazy about, can't stand, don't mind, can't be a uh, fun of. Okay, thank you very much. And they want you to uh, put them in group. So we have uh, not not in group. Which they want to know which one? Are, oh my God, my my pen cannot is not working now. I want to draw something here. Wait a moment. Okay, that's okay now. So we want to know which one are positive, which one are negative, and which one is neutral. Neutral means not positive, not negative. Okay, so now let's look at the example. Do we have example for you? So the word, the first one, quite like. Is it positive, negative, or neutral, everyone? I think neutral, yeah. Neutral, quite like. Yeah. Okay, how about the student? Okay, you should not be quite hurt, otherwise you're gonna feel sleepy. <laughs> okay, hello? Okay, so one Ri said uh, neutral. How about other student? I think neutral, too, sure. Neutral, too. Okay. Okay, how about... Okay, two is enough. Cannot wait for that. Oh, I give you all already now. <laughs> okay, so if I give you the answer, that would be all. So I just want you to spend uh, about three minutes. Okay, everyone? All right? Okay, now I want you to spend three minutes. So I want you to put them in group. So we have positive, we have negative, and we have neutrals. Can you do it? You can do like this. If, example, if you say this one neutral, you just do the sign like this. If a door uh, is positive, you can put like this. If this one negative, you just put like this, okay? So you're gonna be faster. Okay, please do it right now. We check the answer together at 9.35. Very hard today.
Okay, so now let's check together. We have the word quite like. You say this is neutral, so I will put this sign. And a door, a door positive or negative, everyone? A door is positive. 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 How about love? Um, negative. Negative. Okay, keen on? Positive, teacher. Positive. Okay, and not that keen on must be negative because you said keen on is positive, right? Or, mm -hmm. or neutral. Okay, crazy about? Um, positive, teacher. Oh, the word crazy is positive? Yeah. <laughs> it's not crazy about football. Okay. Can can't stand. Negative. 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 Okay. How about don't mind? Mm, positive. Neutral. Neutral, positive, or negative? Mm. <laughs> oh, positive. Do you have different answer? If you have, please tell me. I will I, I will change. I sing what? I sing a song. <laughs> neutral or oh, neutral. Okay. Somebody said it. Okay, how about can be a can be and can stay in the same? Um I think um, yes. negative I can't be a teacher. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, phone phone off. Okay, now let's look at the answer. So we have positive, we have the word adore, uh, keen on, crazy about, phone off. Okay, very good. And negative, we have loath, can't stand, and can't be. You were right or not? Oh, you have four, but this one we have only three. So we remove the word, which one? Loath. Oh, not keen on, not that keen on. Okay, not that keen on is neutral. So we have quite like, not that keen on, don't mind. Okay. Is it correct, everyone? Yes. Right. So you have you 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 have to uh, remember this. First, you have to remember. Second, understand. Right now, you maybe remember and understand, and then you have to practice this stuff. You have to know some words are positive, some words are negative, and some words are neutral, so that you may not make any mistake in uh, speaking or in writings when you want to use them to describe something. Uh, last week I said that I uh, have to give you one homework, but I keep, now I forgot, I don't know why, you know, so I'm going to give you today. Could I, oh, last week I gave you one homework, but I forgot one more homework called football, writing homework, right? Remember everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes, but I'm going to give you today, okay? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, positive, we have the word adore, keen on, crazy about. Fun of, they have similar meaning, right? But adore, you love something very much. Keen on, interested in something, crazy about. You are passionate about something. You want to watch it. Fun of, you love something, right? Negative, loath, disgusting, dislike. You don't like it. Can't stand watching something, right? Example, I can't stand listening to you, teacher. You sound like a, <laughs> You sound so bad, okay? I can't bear. Can be and can't stay, they are similar, right? Uh, neutral, not good, not bad, in the middle, quite like. Yeah, quite like him, okay? Not that keen on. Uh, would you like to go and watch the movie with me tonight? Oh, so sorry. I love to be with you, but I'm not that keen on watching movie. For example, you can say so. Don't mind, okay? I don't like it, but I don't mind going with you. <laughs> right. Okay, um, this one before we continue, uh, Kanya, I want you to read uh, this word again for your friends. Kanya, no, Kanya. Okay, Sayon, then Sayon. Yes, teacher. Okay. Positive, other. Keen on, great things about, fun of, negative, loath, load, can't yeah. stain, can't bear, neutral, quick like, quiet, not, not quick. <laughs> Be careful, the word. Yeah. 
Now okay, that is like. on and on mine. Okay, you know the word quit has a big meaning, right? It means stop. <laughs> so be careful with the word quiet and quit. Okay, uh, the word adore is verb, right? Verb, kin on is adjective. You cannot say I kin on, right? Are you kin on? A uh, crazy is ad adjective for now. I think it's also adjective. I'm fun of. Okay, and love can stand quite like all adjective. Adore is verb. I adore you, mean I love you very much. I adore it. I love it. Okay. Hello, honey. I want to buy you a uh, new headphones. It just released recently. And then your boyfriend said, oh, I adore it. And I mean, he loved it very much. Okay, now we finish this one. These are the word or phrases that you can use to describe your passions. When somebody asks you about your favorite activities, your leisure, your free time activity, or any kind of sport, want to know your opinion about something else, you can use these phrases or expressions to show your positivity, your negativity, or your neutrality. Okay, on those particular topics. You learned how to use them. Okay, and we can continue to the next one. This one, rewrite the sentences using the words in the brackets. So we have the word. Okay, if you want to make your opinion stronger. Okay, guys, if you want to make your opinion stronger, you should know how to use it and which word or phrases should you add to your opinion in order to make it stronger. So here we have the word absolutely, I mean very, 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 or extremely. Right? We have the word extremely, absolutely, definitely. So there are a lot. You're going to learn along the way. Now, step by step, right? Make sure you, you learn everything that you have studied from the class. So step by step. And if, again, if you want to make your opinion stronger, you have to use some, some words, some special words, like absolutely adore. Like see likes. It's very simple. So like ice cream very much. So we see the word very much. Okay, I don't want to use the word very anymore. So you can say she absolutely adores ice cream. The meaning, she likes an ice cream very much. Now we do number two together. Okay. Now he likes all water sports. So what is it? Very keen here. He very keen all water, uh, water sports. He's very keen. He's or he? He. No, 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 no. no, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, so then you, you make mistake because kin he is adjective. Kin he is not verb. If adore, adore is verb. So you can say she's absolutely adores. Adore is verb. Kin is adjective. You need verb to be. Okay. Is one read? You ask me. She yes, is beautiful. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's very keen on all water sport. Okay, number three until number ten. I want you to do it by yourself. Please write the uh, sentences in your notebook. And I think we can have around so one minute, right? I think one minute is 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 good time for you so that you can uh, make it clean and nice. We check the answer together at nine fifty. Okay. All right. If you have a question, you can ask. If you don't have, do it quietly. Teacher, can you explain again? Uh, yes, uh, you can. Okay, uh, you can look at this uh, instruction, what they want you to do. They want you to rewrite. So mean rewrite mean write again. Rewrite the sentences using the word in the bracket. So the word in the bracket, the first one, we have the word uh, absolutely adore. And you see here, we have the word, she likes ice cream very much. So large, large here is adore, right? And very much here is absolutely. So we have to rewrite the sentence here. She absolutely adores ice cream. Number two, we have the word very keen. So very keen here mean like. Okay, so you change with that one, but but very keen here is adjective, like is verb. So how can you make a correct sentence? You need verb to be. He's very keen on all food, uh, water sports. Is it okay, Vibol? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, do number three until number 10. Now you still have five minutes, two minutes gone already. You see, very fast. ตัวบาดเจ็บตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวต
<laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much. Now time is over, so let's check together. I will call you. Uh, Charlie, number three, please. Uh, yes, it's a... I can't be it. I can't be it. Yeah, number three. I can't be a what? Oh, this one you cannot read opera. Yes, I can. Can you read be a, again? I can be a at opera. I can be at opera. Oh, what do you mean? I can be. <laughs> oh, Mister, be careful. Right. So I can't be opera. Just change the word hate with the word can be. They have similar meaning or the same meaning. I can't be opera. Yes, okay, yes. number because can be must be plus noun or gerund. Be verb verb ing. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Borani number four, please. No, oh, Borani. Rajana number four. Yeah, teacher. My brother crazy about playing video games. Crazy, my brother with apostrophe S or not? Sound like yes. you don't have. So my brothers, my, my brothers crazy about playing video, video games. Video games. Okay, yeah, my brother is a brothers. Yeah, about video game or playing video game. Yeah, you can put both of them. Uh, either. Okay, number five would be for uh, Sukhan. So con internet is not good. Run how? Hello. Now what happened? Fu Han. Number five, please. Yes, teacher. Number five. My sister isn't that keen on any sports. Is that okay? My sister isn't really that keen on any sport. Okay, right. Because doesn't like really, you still keep there because really make the opinion stronger as well. Okay, number six, uh, three yeah. Number no, three yeah is not available. So continue number six, please. Now, what happened to my student today? See, my everyone has very low internet connection. Okay, Jim Hương, number six. Uh, number six, I can't stand people who always talk about themselves. Okay, I can't stand people who always talk about themselves. Okay, number seven. Okay, who should I call now? Sri Mom, number seven. Number seven, my mom is very fun going to music halls. My my mom is very fun going to music halls. Going to music halls. Okay, you can say my mom is very fun of fun of not fun too. Okay, fun of going to music hall. Or you can say my mom is very fun of music hall. That's it. Okay, thank you very okay. much. Number eight. Uh, okay, who should I call now? Okay, Kin, uh, what is it? Uh, Tuitan. Yes, hello, teacher. Hello. Number six. Oh, sorry, number eight. Eight. I don't mind green tea, but I prefer English breakfast tea. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't tea. mind green tea. Okay, green tea. Okay, but I, I don't mind English green tea, breakfast. but I prefer English breakfast tea. Okay, number 10, I will do it for you. Oh, number nine, one more, sorry. Okay, number nine, the thing I love most is tidying up my room. Okay, I always ask my mom to do it. Is it correct, Lip Singh? Did you do that? Yes, teacher. Oh, you, num number nine here, you, this is real about you, correct? You dislike the most is 
tidying up your room. So you ask your mom to do it for you. Okay, number 10. Number 10. Uh, I quite like my job, but it's time I apply for another one. So you can see here, these, these are the answer, but the reason some, some of them, I put it in darker, you see, it is darker, uh, like this one. This, this is the intonation of the sentence. So how you read them? So can we do it together? Now, please pay attention. I will ask some of you to read out. Number one, she, she absolutely adore ice cream. Number two, he's very keen on all water sports. Number three, I can't bear opera. Number four, my brother is crazy about video games. Number five, my sister isn't really that keen on any sport. Okay, you put the stress on, on the dark here. I can't stand people who always talk about themselves. Okay, number seven, my mom is very fond of musical. Number eight, I don't mind green tea, but I prefer English breakfast tea. Number nine, the thing I love most is tidying up my room. Number 10, I quite like my job, but it's time I apply for another one. Okay, thank you very much. Now I want to ask some students to read out and I would like to ask. Okay, Pijada. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, follow follow the intonation of the sentence. We have the dark here. You have to stress them all. Yes. She absolutely adores ice cream. He's very keen on all water sport. I can't bear opera. My brother is crazy about playing video game. My sister isn't really that keen on any sport. I can't stand I can't stand people who always talk about themselves. My mom is very fond of going to musical. I don't mind green tea, but I prefer English breakfast tea. The thing I love most is tidy room in my room. I quite like my job, but it's time I apply for another one. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have any question, everyone, about this? Okay, if you don't have questions, no, right? Uh... Okay, if you don't have questions, we're gonna continue to the next one. Uh, our lesson is a bit slow. We need to fasten them up. Okay, uh, we have the pictures, right? Our photos of these people. Read what they say about their passions. Can you work out what their passion is? So now we go into it together. Number one, Julia, I enjoy it. I think because it's a very psychological game. I mean, if we playing badly, you have to push yourself to continue. There's only about three months that uh, you can play. So what is it? Number two, Paul, they are so big and powerful, but so beautiful when you see the racing around a field on or on a track. Of course, I have fallen off a few times, but it seems that the more you fall, the less it hurts. Andrew, I feel the power of the words. The thing I like so much about it is that you can say so much with just a few words. It's all about seeing what often goes unsaid and with passion. Number four, James. They complain about it all the times, but I love it. Here's you really appreciate the sunshine and you notice the seasons. Number five, red. The things I love best about it is that you are away from everything and everyone up in the hills and you work together with horses and dogs. It ships farming areas so the farmers contact us if they have problems. Okay, now uh, let's check this one together. Can you work out what they're passionate about? So when you read the description here, do you know what are their passions? So before we figure out, I will ask some of you to practice reading each of them first. So Tolton, number one. Julia, just read, just read, okay? No need to answer. 
Oh, what happened today? Told to him. Okay, yes. Julia. Yeah, Julia. Uh, I enjoyed it. I think because it's a very psychological game. I mean, if you are playing badly, you have to push yourself to continue. There's only about three months that you can play. Okay, thank you very much. Srinit, number two, Paul. Paul, they are so big and powerful, but so beautiful when you see them racing around a field or on a track. Of course, I have fallen off a few times, but it seems that the more you fall, the less it hurts. Thank you very much. Uh, Kim Nhi, number three. Number three, Adros. Adros, I feel the power of the word. The thing I like so much about it is that, is that you can say to my, uh, so much with just a few words. It's all about saying what often goes unsized and with person. Passion. With passion, yeah. Okay, uh, so Kunti, number four. James. James. Not James, James. James. Yeah. Yes, sir. They complain about it all the time, but I love it here. You really oh, appreciate it. Appreciate. Appreciate. Appreciate the Shanghai sunshine and you not sunshine and you not notice notice the season. Okay, very good. All right, uh, so John, the last one, number five. Okay, the thing I love the best about it is that you are away from everything and everyone up in the hills and you work together with horses and dogs. It's a sheep. Farming. Farming area, so the farmer contact us if they, they have a problem. All right, thank you very much. Can you guess what are they passionate about? This one is only description. So what is it about? Can you guess or not, everyone? Now, Julia. No? Sing? Sivanri? Kantai? Srimong? Chair? Yes. Okay, please. What teacher? What teacher? <laughs> yeah. Could you ask? Okay, okay, you don't okay, you don't hear the question. I I mean Julie here. What is her passion about? Hmm? Oh, you don't uh, get it. Julie passion about tennis teacher. Oh tennis, okay, tennis. You guess it because of this one, right? Okay, how about Paul? Paul? Paul, he person is um, what has has I I don't know. Um, uh, the, uh, Paul, horse, his person is you have horse riding, horse right? Ride, yes, horse yeah. riding. Excellent. Okay, now how about uh Andrew? Andrew. Okay, take so time, long time. So we just go together a little bit. Okay, so now, uh, should I play the tape for you? Listen to the people where you write. What are their passion? Okay, now I play the tapes for you. You listen and you also can uh, give write a passion of them again. So from uh, the exercise three, you said that Julius here is passionate about tennis and Paul's is passionate about horse riding. But number three, number four, we haven't done yet. Now let's listen and then you can write 
What are they passionate about? Okay, here we go. Tape script 7.7. Things I'm passionate about. Julia. I'm really passionate about playing tennis. I've been playing nearly 20 years. I was about seven or eight when I started having lessons, and I had a fantastic teacher. I think that's why I still love it. She was passionate about the sport, and that influenced me. I've played in competitions, mainly when I was at school. I still do sometimes. I enjoy it, I think, because it's a very psychological game. I mean, if you're playing badly, you have to push yourself to continue. It's a challenge not to give up. It's also a very sociable sport. I've made lots of friends playing doubles, and it's a game that doesn't have to be expensive. Anyone can play. All you need is a tennis racket. You don't need expensive clothing or equipment like you do for skiing, and it's a fantastic way to keep fit all year round. There's only about three months that you can't play. When I lived in Australia, I played every week of the year. I adored that. It was brilliant. Paul. My passion at the moment is horse riding. <laughs> it's strange to hear myself say that because I've only been doing it about a year and I never imagined I'd be so keen on it. It all happened because I was talking to someone who rode horses and I said that stupid thing people often say, oh, I've always wanted to do that. And she said, why don't you then? And I thought, why not? I've always liked horses. They're so big and powerful, but so beautiful when you see them racing round a field or on a track. It amazes me that they let people ride on their backs. Riding is very physically demanding because your body has to be in harmony. Uh, <laughs> it has to move with the horse, but it keeps you fit. Of course, I have fallen off a few times, but it seems that the more you fall, the less it hurts. Also, you have to try and understand your horse. They have moods. You never quite know what a ride is going to be like. A horse you had a fantastic ride on one week can be slow and miserable the next week. I really like that about horses. They have personalities. Andrew. I'm passionate about poetry. I studied English literature at university, but it wasn't until after I graduated that I really got into poetry, and I started writing some myself. And I met some other people who wrote poetry, and I heard them read it aloud, and that was amazing. I felt the power of the words. The thing I like so much about it is that you can say so much with just a few words. So, little means a lot. Each word, each noun, adjective, Preposition has to work hard. There's a poem by Simon Armitage called To His Lost Lover. It's a poem of regret about not saying the things you should have said in a relationship. It has it all for me. Poetry's all about saying what often goes unsaid and with passion. It can be such a help in your life. If you feel tired or depressed, you can always find a poem that will help. It can be short or long. It doesn't matter. James. The thing I'm passionate about, and this may surprise many people, is um, British weather. I know lots of people can't stand our weather. They complain about it all the time, but I love it. You see, when I was a child, my family lived in California for five years, and we had about 365 days of sunshine every year. It was so boring. I was 10 when we came back to England, and I just loved all the changes in the weather. Here, you really appreciate the sunshine, and you notice the seasons. For me, one of nature's miracles is after a long, hot, sunny day, there's a thunderstorm or a downpour of rain, and you go out in the garden and you can smell the freshness in the air. The world has been washed clean and bright. It's magic. And, you know, it's a myth that it rains all the time. It doesn't. Anyway, it's the rain that gives us our green fields. You know that joke, if you don't like English weather, wait ten minutes. That's why it's interesting. Harriet. Something I feel really passionately about is fox hunting. My grandmother, mother 
and uncles have always been keen on hunting. And I started when I was about six. We hunt up in the Welsh mountains. We go out from about 11 a.m. and we don't get back till after dark. And the thing I love best about it is that you are away from everything and everyone up in the hills and you work together with horses and dogs. And if you're following a clever fox, you can see him working out how to lose the dogs. He knows the countryside so well, where the holes are, where to hide. Where we hunt in Wales, um, it's a sheep farming area, so the farmers contact us if they have a problem with a fox. We only hunt on their land if we are asked. I don't hunt so much now because the laws have changed. Okay, everyone. So before we have a break, let's check the answer together. Number one, Julia. Okay. What is her passion about? Just give me the answer, please, if you have. Okay. Okay. Number one, we, we already uh, checked, right? Julia is tennis. And number two, Mr. Palsy is a horse riding. Okay, how about number three? What is his uh, passion about? Poetry. Okay, poetry. How about James? Mm, British weather. British weather. Okay, British weather. He loved the weather. Passion a lot about that. Okay, number five? Fox hunting. Hunting, fox hunting. Okay, thank you. You can have a break right now. Charge your phones to relax, drink waters, and we're going to come back at 10.30. Okay? All right. Bye-bye yeah. for now. You can leave Microsoft team. I will drop you the link again uh, at 10.30. Yes, thank you very much for the first session. Hello, everyone. Teacher. Okay, Hello, teacher. Please. Okay, bye bye yes, for now. Bye bye. Bye bye, Bye for now. See you at 10 30.